We're going to create a pantogram using um, a stencil that we have in Electric Quilt Sit. So we want to start our Electric Quilt Sits program, which is going to be a little slow because I have so much stuff on my desktop and so much loaded into memory that it does take a few minutes. When it starts, it brings up tip of the day, and you're going to close this down. And we're really not interested in working on a quilt project at this time. So um, we're going to also cancel this. What we want to do is bring in a block from our stencils library. And so what you would do is go up to your libraries. You would click block library. It will show you what blocks are there, but we're working on a stencil. So the one that we want is in a border stencil, and we will click on that. And the one that we're going to work with is a stars um, stencil. So we say add this to our sketchbook, which we're going to do right now. Um, we're done with the sketchbook for now, so we'll close this down. Now we're going to go to our um, sketchbook choose our block and it's presently sitting in the stencil so we'll double click on this and it brings it up and if you will notice that it is not really the way we want it so we're going to select this and say select all and we're going to rotate this so that we have it going in a good direction so we're going to rotate this 90 degrees once you hit enter, it rotates it, but I'm still not happy with this because it the star is going or facing the wrong direction. So what we want to do is flip this top to bottom, which we have our little icon here that automatically flips it. And I'm really happy with this right now. Um, it's still really small in size. It's telling me that the width of this block is 6 inches wide by 1.582 inches wide. Well, we're going to stretch this out. Let me select all to stretch it out. We're going to stretch it up here, and we're going to stretch it down here. And it still is not the way, you know, to create a panto yet, but if we hit enter with our keyboard, it then shows you the block width and the block height. It's still 6 inches by 6 inches, but we're going to create a pantogram. So in the block width, we're going to change this to 66 inches, and we're going to make this 8 inches uh, wide to accept letter size paper. So we will just change the 6 to an 8, delete the 6, hit enter and now my block size is 66 inches wide by 8 inches tall. Now this is really not what we want yet or you could just put 4 in there but we want a whole line of these stars so what we will do is click the edit key and select all. At this point we're going to shrink this block down to create a, a lot of them. That's still a little big. Let's shrink it down a little bit more so it's symmetrically more correct. Now for those of you um, that are really familiar with computers, at this point you could use Control C to copy it and Control V to paste it. And if you're not, that's okay too because we're going to go up to the edit and we're going to hit copy and it has copied everything that we have selected and now we're going to paste it. Well you can see it's put it in there and what we're now going to do is drag this whole thing and align it with our other blocks. Now what you, you could do is zoom in on this area here and make sure that they are joined and they are so we can zoom back out and um, I'm going to use Control V again to paste another one. So I will drag it over here and put it in place. And I'm going to use Control V again to paste another one and put it over here. 
and I have now a nice row of stars that I'm going to create or do my pantogram with. At this point right here you have got your whole block set and we want to now print this out. Um, you could save this immediately to your block section and then create a library in my libraries and put it there for future reference and in a later video I will show you how to do that so that um, you have them handy at all times. But for this demo what we're going to do is to print this out and what we want to do is go up to file and select and we want to print. Well if we want to print our foundation you will notice that it is a custom block at 66 inches wide and 6 inches in height and we say oh well that you know that's exactly what I want um, and it does look funny but if you hit the preview it is now going on roll paper which I have the orientation wrong so we want to close this down we can leave this sitting right here oh well no that's wrong what we want to do is go to our page setup you will notice that on my printer because I have a printer that will accommodate roll paper and I have it set to user defined for whatever length that I want in roll but you notice that it's in portrait well I want it in landscape so that it prints on one piece of paper that is 66 inches long. so I choose landscape and I say OK everything is still the same at 66 inches wide 6 inches in height it is a custom block and now I want to preview this well now that I have previewed it it has all the stars that I want and the width that I want and this can be for anyone that you do any width I am really happy with this at this point so what I can do is just click my print button it will send that this particular pantograph to my printer and print out on one piece of paper that is uh, suitable for long arm quilting but let's say for the sake of argument that you do not have a printer that will do that and all you have is a printer that will do letter size paper or maybe banner paper so you want to use that well we're going to close this down we're going to go to our printers close this down go to our printer printer setup well I do have another printer and it's an HP laser but it could be anything else at this point you will notice that it is a letter size paper you can use whatever paper that you want if in here you go down and you had banner paper which this one does not um, if it were there according to your printer then you could select banner but for this for someone who doesn't have a printer that can have a, accommodate that just choose letter quality and however it feeds this is selected to automatic select we'll say OK well normally when you choose that printer it's going to be in portrait so you want to make sure that it is in landscape and you click OK we are now back at our block and it is still the star so we're going to go up here to file we're going to print we're going to print the block it says it is 66 still and 6 inches wide um, it still does look funny it shows our work table if we hit the preview it then brings it up and you can see it requires one two three four by six, eight pieces of letter size paper in order to print this and you will notice that on each piece of paper it has lines that are like dashes and we'll zoom in and look at that so that you can see that's where you would align each piece of paper to each other and tape them together to get your panto so if you are happy with that with the way that it looks at this point you would just click print it would print out eight pieces of paper with your pantogram you would then tape them together put them on your long arm and quilt it I hope you've enjoyed this demo and um, I will be doing other demos on how to create your own libraries and putting all of these pantograms 
into them so that they're there for your quick reference whenever you want them. Thank you for viewing this demo. If you need any help, you can email me um, privately or um, find a way to get in touch with me. I'm on a lot of groups. Um, thank you for watching um, and I've enjoyed your being here.